Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Selenix Crypto. Good afternoon, I should say, but still, welcome to a new video on Nier. All right, covered this yesterday. Um, I wanted to cover it again today. We got some bullish momentum, which we were already talking about yesterday. Um, we also technically got a pretty big bullish breakout, but I, I'm not sure if, I, if I'm if i fully convinced by it yet. So just wanted to uh, give you my thoughts on it. Excuse me for, for my nose. And give you my thoughts on, on what I think is most likely, what's going on, some numbers you need to know, hopefully everything you need to know. All right, so let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, what I like a lot about Nier is that uh, we're, we're seeing some, some more talks about it on, on crypto Twitter, for example, which is always bullish, all right? Some more exposure, some more just eyeballs on it is always bullish for a crypto. Um, in my experience, I've rarely seen that being bearish. But then apart from that, there's also reasons to be bullish on Nier, right? So there's more eyeballs on it. Um, but apart from that, I also, uh, if you look at the total value locked, that has increased in the in the recent periods, especially since the 6th of February, a lot. All right. So fundamentally, I would say there's some some sort of a bullish push behind there as well. And then if you look at the technicals, technically, we did get a big uh, bullish breakout right here above the value high and just in general above this resistance level at 3.75 cents. Uh, but... In cases like these, uh, it's always good to know how strong a resistance level is, all right? Because, for example, the resistance level I have on the chart right here, it's fine, but it's also like uh, Nier has very often spiked up to, for example, this level at 3.9, which you can see historically as well, even up to $4, and has respected that. So, sure, we did get a bullish breakout. However, not above the full level, all right? And I think the, the main bullish breakout we got was actually above 3.5, which you can see as well is a is a technical support level we have right now. It used to be resistance, but it's pretty strong. Um, so we broke above that. I think that should be the main focus. And just in general, what you see for near right now is that it's getting some more open positions, right? Here you can see uh, the open interest has increased a ton since the 23rd of February. So that's in the last... Uh, two days that that has increased a lot now that's also in line with the price of course the price has gone up open interest has gone up that's usually what happens but that is bullish <laughs> all right um it seems that we found a top right here so i expect somewhat of a drop but most of this open interest if you actually check it out um what you'll see is that if you look at where the open interest started increasing it's right here and if you look at where it started decreasing it's right here um the cvd in that period of time is bullish so more longs have been open than shorts probably much more and i don't think those longs are going to close right now and i also don't think that most of them have closed already because open interest has dropped down a bit but not that much um so in general what i what i expect is that near will stay bullish now it is partially dependent on what bitcoin does all right uh, bitcoin right here if bitcoin starts crashing obviously near will not hold its support levels but i don't think that's that likely i think it's much more likely that you know bitcoin might fall down a bit but i also expect near to fall down a bit and then we'll just fall down to the support level right here at 3.5 um, and 3.45 we'll hold that we'll consolidate a bit and then eventually we'll get up to four dollars probably find resistance at four dollars but eventually break above that to rally back up to our previous tops at 4.6. That's what I think is most likely. All right, that's in general, I think that's in line with the market structure right here. We might have a bigger pullback than 3.45, uh, depending on the market circumstances, I would say, and depending on how far the open interest falls down. Um, but I don't see a big reason. Like I, I see enough reasons for near to be bearish shorter. So I see enough reasons for us to have a pullback I, I don't see enough reasons for us to to believe that that pullback is going to result in a bearish near. I think it's much more likely that um, that will consolidate and eventually get bullish again. But those are my thoughts. I think that's what you need to know about near right now. Uh, if you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye.